Alright, so now looking at annuity, annuity. Now, when you hear annuity, the first thing I want us to understand is that annuity are payments. They are payments. So there are payments that are made at regular intervals of the period. So these payments can be made either at the beginning of the period or at the end of the period. But understand that annuity are payments that are made. So an example of annuity is a monthly insurance scheme. Insurance scheme, like you are to make an, a monthly amount of insurance for every month. So that's an example of annuity. Rents is an example of what annuity. Now, if you look at insurance, you look at rent. When do you pay rent? Rent is expected to be paid when before you start making use of that property. So rent is paid. Rent now, as an example of annuity, is paid at the what? Begin. Now, insurance. Is expected to cover for what, whatever property you use in your business. Insurance you pay it at the what, end of the period. So that leads us to what kind of annuity do you pay at the beginning? What type of annuity do you pay at the end? So there are two basic types, major types of annuity ordinary annuity and what annuity due. So ordinary annuity is that payment that you make at the what? end of each period why annuity due is the payment you make at the what beginning of each what period so ordinary annuity is made at the end annuity due is made at the what beginning so look at the formula you have future value and what present value so it can be calculated based on future value it can be calculated based on present value so understand or take note that annuity as well is compounded annuity as well is what compounded remember the concept of compounding i told us when we were treating compound interest the annuity's payment as well is compounded so it can be a future value it can be present value so we talk basically more on this when we are in class then we understand the concept of future value we understand the concept of what present value what we mean by future value what we mean by present value but just get it that an ordinary annuity can either be future value or can be present value. The same annuity you can be future value, can be present value. So this is the formula. Just look at the formula. Look at it very well. Very, very simple. Just look at the formula. Look at it. Future value of an ordinary annuity, present value of an ordinary annuity, annuity due, future value of an annuity due, present value of an annuity due. So it's a very it's not complex. It's formula. So these are the things that will be applied when all these um, processes are being done in practice. So I believe by looking at it now, we have been able to get the scope of how the formula runs. All right, so let's look at a question on annuity. Now, we're looking at the three questions on, that we cover the three, sorry, the two types of annuity. Now, I know one question that might be coming to your mind now is how do I know when the question is ordinary annuity and how do I know when the question is annuity due? Understand, ordinary annuity, the payment is made at the end. So when you read your question, reading your question very well, once you see anything that they are talking about at the end, you know it is what ordinary annuity. Now most times the question might not tell you at the end. But the question will be very, very direct, letting you know the payment is made at the end. So it's, it's the way you read your question and interpret your question. It will allow you to know whether the, that kind of annuity is ordinary or annuity too. So let's look at the first one now. How much will be saved in 15 years? Now look at it. How much, without reading the end of the question, without reading the question to the end, you should already know what type of annuity is this. How much will be saved in 15 years? Now, 15 years is not now, right? No. 15 years is what? Later. So, how much will be saved at the end of what? 15 years. So, if we start making an 
a savings now, 2024. So 15 years from 2024, that will give us what? 2039. So how much will be saved at the end of what? 2039. So without stressing yourself, you already know this is an ordinary word and unity. And is it future value or present value? It's what? Future value. You can see in 15 years. So 15 years is not now. 15 years is a future time. So it's a future what? Value. So the formula we are using to solve is what? Future value. So I'll come here and say future value is what? M into bracket what? 1 plus I is power N minus 1 over what? I. So that's future value. Now, let's bring out our parameter. So M is what? 5,000. I, remember I, don't forget, R over M. That's your interest rate divided by the number of times your interest is what? Compounding. So how many times our interest compounding? Monthly. What's our interest rate? 10%. That will be what? 0 0.1 divided by 12. So what is 0 0.1 divided by 12 will you give us 0 0.0083. So your I is 0 0.0083. Then your what? N. So remember your N is what? The number of times compounded times the number of years. What's the number of times compounded? 12. What's the number of years? 15 years. So 12 times 15 will give us what? 100 and what? 80. So when you, before you start solving, just express your parameters like this. Then it's easy for you. Just put it in the formula straight up. So how do we go about that? How the F is what? 5,000 to brackets. Now 1 plus, what's I? 0 0.0083, right? 180 minus 1, then all over 0 0.0083, what? 3. Then F is going to be what? 5,000, open your brackets. Now, 1 plus this will be what? 1.0083 to power 180 minus 1 over 0 0.0083. So, F is going to be what? 5000 into brackets. 1.0083 raised to power 180 give us what? 4.4275 minus 1 over 0 0.0083 theory. so f will be what 5000 now 4.4275 minus 1 will give us 3.4275 over 0 0.0083 theory. then that will give us divided by 0 0.0083 will be so f will be 5,000 into brackets. So divide this by this. We have what? 412.9512. 412.9512. So F will give you what? Times 5,000. That will be 2. Sorry. That will be and 64,756.11. So, 2 million and 64,756.11. So, you will see that what your future value, if you save 5,000 naira using an annuity mode of payment. So, if you look at it, when we are using simple interest, when we are using compound interest, when we are using annuity, we see that each of these um, mode of investing has their advantages. And it depends on the business or the organization that makes use of each of these mode of what, payments. So using an ordinary annuity mode of payments, if we are going to save 5,000 naira for 15 years, 
going to be amounting to what? Two million and what? Sixty-four thousand seven hundred and fifty-six naira. Now, um, number two. Find the present value of an ordinary annuity. So they've told us already in the question. We don't have to stress ourselves. Find the present value. So what are we looking for? Present value. Which formula are we using? Present value. So bring out your formula. B equals M into bracket one. One minus one plus I is the power minus A over what? I. So you bring out your formula. Then M is what? 500. I compounded monthly, that's remember I is R over M, right? That's 18%. 0 0.18 over 12. So 0 0.18 divided by 12. 0 0.0125. Then M is MT. So that's 12 times, what's the T? 6. That's what? 72. So let's solve. P will now be what? 500 divided 1 minus 1 plus, what's our I? 0 0.0125 power what? 72 over 0 0.0125. That's I. Now, P will be what? 500, 1 minus 1.0125, 1 72 over 0 0.0125. Then P will be what? 500, bracket, 1 minus. So let's calculate the value of this. Oh, sorry, it's minus 72 minus 72. So, zero point, sorry, 1.0125 power minus 72. That will give us 0 0.4088 over 0 0.0125. So, 1 minus, 1 minus 0 0.4088 is what? That's 0 0.5912 over 0 0.0125. Then P will be what? 500 to bracket. 0 0.5912 divided by 0 0.0125 will be 47.2960. So P will be, so multiply by 500, that's what, 23,648. So, present value, present value, so present value. So, this is a question calculating for future value. This is a question calculating for what? Present value. Now, number three. Calculate the future Calculate the future and present value of an annuity due. Of an annuity due. Now, that's for annuity due. We are calculating both for future and present value. Let's just bring out our formulas first. Now, for future value of annuity due is what? M into bracket what? 1 plus I raised to power what? N plus 1 minus 1 plus I over i then present value m into bracket what one plus i minus one plus i is power what minus n plus one over what i so this formula for the future value and present value so for this question we have to calculate both for future value and both for present value so future value Now, future value. So let's bring our parameters out. M is what? 6,000. 
around I. Remember R over M, right? So what's our R? 16%. 0.16 over how many times are see? Compounded words annually. That's one. Once in a year. Then M is what? MT. That's what? One times five equals what? Five. So for future value will be, let's put it in our formula. 6,000 into brackets. One plus I. What's I? So this is 0 0.16. 0 0.16 into brackets was N. So raise the power N. That's five times, sorry, five plus one. Minus one plus I. 1 plus 0 0.16 and all over 0 0.16. So I have 6,000. So 1 point plus 0 0.16 is equal to what? 1.16 power 6. So that's 5 plus 1 6 minus 1.16 all over 0 0.16. So 6,000 will be 1.16 raised to power 6 will give me 2.4364 minus 1.16 over 0 0.16. This is this. Remember, this is not having any power. So it's still the same thing as power 1. That's 1.16. So 6,000 into brackets, what? So 2.43 minus 1.16 will give us 1.2764 over 0 0.16. So 1.2764 over 0 0.16. So divided by 0 0.16 will give me 7.9775. So multiply everything by... 6,000, that's 47,864.86. So that's for future value. Now, for present value. So present value, the same thing, M is still what? 6,000. I is R over M, that's 0 0.16 over 1, that's 0 0.16. Then N is M T. So present value. So it's our present value now. It's just the reverse. So it's the same thing. It's just that this time around, the other value is carrying the power. So we have M 6000 into bracket what? 1 plus I. So what's I? 0 0.16 minus right 1 plus 0 0.16 to the power minus 5 plus 1 over 0 0.16 how would I get minus 5 that's our power is power minus a plus 1 so this will give us 6000 into brackets this is 1.16 minus 1. Point 1, 6, or minus 4. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4. Over 0 0.16. Then this will give us what? 6,000 into brackets. 1.16 minus 1.16 power minus 4 will give us 0 0.5523 over 0 0.16 so i have 6000 into bracket 1.16 minus 0 0.5523 give us 0 0.6077 over 0 0.16 so divide by 0 0.16 what are you going to have 6000 into brackets 3.7981 so multiply by 6000 so what do we have 
22,788.75. So when we make use of future value, this is the amount we are going to get. For present value, this is the amount we are going to get. So take note. Most times, questions can be silent and tell you just to calculate for the value of annuity due or ordinary annuity without indicating whether it's future value or present value. But like I said, in your question, when you read it, you will know if it's future value or present value. So the concept of future value, present value will be well explained rather when we are having our classes. Thank you.